This is a CZ600 trail. What was happening here? Well, I was actually holding the bolt with my thumb and a trigger finger over here and use my middle finger <laughs> to press on the trigger. And why is this uh, technique faster? Because I do not have to remove the grip from the bolt. I am on the target. I'm holding the rifle in my shoulder with my left hand, pulling it towards me and I'm just manipulating the bolt and immediately firing, manipulating, firing. This technique is actually quite old and I learned this technique from a bloke on the range. Uh, I saw some of his videos and he does an amazing job. I would suggest you check his channel. But essentially what we want to try today is for a modern bolt action rifle, can I shoot faster by using the fingering technique? This compact bolt action rifle is full of features and I want to show a couple of them to you. So it has an retractable stock that you can pull out without a problem. It has three different positions, a cheek rest that can be actually transitioned to the other side, an AR style pistol grip, so you can exchange it for your own. The safety lever is ambidextrous and it's actually the same as on the brand two rifles. The magazine release is also accessible on the other side. It uses an M-Lock style handguard, a 16 inch barrel, so it's legal for US market. It's not an SBR, and it has a muzzle thread of 15 by one right threaded. When you engage the safety, it blocks the bolt, but by pushing this lever down, you can unlock it and you can cycle the bolt and empty the rifle in a safe mode. Now, this particular rifle is chambered in 223, 5.56, in one to seven twist but they also offer an option in 7.62 by 39, and there are some rumors about a 300 blackout. Now, at first, these rifles were designed and advertised as multi-caliber, but then there was a recall, and now from that point on, CZ does not advertise it as such. Now, from what I have heard and seen on this rifle, there was no actual safety issue with the rifles themselves, and the system is still the same, so you can still change the barrel, but you will lose the warranty. kind of one downside to this technique it's less accurate than uh, using your trigger finger but I don't think it is because of your finger what finger you use to press the trigger it is just because you are going faster I'm just looking at the dot of the scope when it goes on the target I just slam that trigger and do it quickly if you compare the targets the difference in, in group size is not that big and the best thing about this kind of technique pulling the trigger with your middle finger is that you can also do it slowly. So you can take your time, you can be on target and then press the trigger. So it's not inherently less accurate. It just becomes less accurate if you're really rushing. It. That's, that's great. That's super great. That was two minutes of, of just explaining it and learning it and should be on target. This was definitely faster than the first one, but at first I thought it's gonna be slower because the grip is really weird and this is the first time I'm trying this. Uh, but yeah, I guess I was five seconds faster than, than the first time, I, I don't know. 
did it, <laughs> Amazing. did it feel faster also? It also felt way faster. The, the technique does not work for wrong-headed people, but he can cheat it kind of this way. <laughs> Semi-automatic. So, uh, for, for close-range engagements, wrong-headed people are right-handed people. Have, yeah, they have an advantage. <laughs> the goal of Bill Drill is that on a beep of a timer, you shoot six shots as fast as possible from around seven meters. A Bill Drill under five seconds with a bolt action rifle and I was not even aiming, I was just like kind of indexing the gun with my hip and all of them were in the target and a decent grouping, just a bit off center, so not bad, not bad at all. So we are running this gun really hard. The handguard is heating up. Yeah, the barrel is almost as hot as on a semi-automatic. <laughs>